both of you are on the Hearing Aid record. In fact, the whole of Dokken is on the record, the yes. whole band. You're one of the featured guitar players and you're one of the featured vocalists. Was there a lot of pressure on you both performing along, alongside other artists who are obviously very good in their own field? There wasn't enough time, really, to, to feel pressured. I mean, we just like in and out, you know. How much time did you get to do your 12 bars or whatever? Well, they, supposedly you had as much time as you wanted to. But uh, I took about 15 minutes. Were you happy with the way your, your little bit turned out? Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy. Turned out. <laughs> what about your own your own singing performance? I was real nervous because you got Jeff Tate's. He sang before me and Rob That's Halford. True. I'm like, you usually you do Ronnie. your best when you just go in, and yeah. play over something. You, you belabor it and spend too much time. It you know, doesn't have that spark to it. When you went down to the studio, did Ronnie sing the song to you and show you how it should go? No, we got a tape of it. And the melody was on a little keyboard. The melody right. or the vocal line was on a keyboard playing a, a rock track. Yeah. And then I went in and sang the whole song complete. Every lyric. Everybody sang the whole song. I oh, I see. And then he picked the lines he wanted. So that's how it worked out. I sang, we all sang the whole song. And then... The way it's turned out, it strikes me that a lot of the vocalists have been influenced by the way that, that Dio would have sung the song. It sounds a lot like him singing. Not me. Maybe you're a bit stiff on that's true. But there are, I think I think someone like Kevin DeBro, Dave Menakashi, both have done it in the kind of Dio style. I don't think they sound like Dio. Really? No. I think they sound like Dave Menakashi. I sound like Dave Menakashi? No, 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 I think he sounds like Dave Menakashi. No, same. My vocal lines just sound like me. Because that's the way I sing. The whole thing sounds like Ronnie and Don. But it was it. Yes, that's probably true. I mean, the basic thing. Sounds like two singers. It, it, it is a Dio song. He wrote it, or he co wrote it with the other members of the band. It's a song, it's very Ronnie, you know. But you can hear my obnoxiously nasal voice in that one spot. Were, were, were you happy with the lyrics you were presented with to sing? Yeah, it's a good? great song. And uh, I mean, it's not really our place to say, well, I don't like these lyrics here, I want to change no, them. No, we had nothing to do with I mean, them. It just was the cause to do it for the EPL. Right. So who actually contacted you both, or the whole band, in fact, to get involved with the project? Well, we were asked about it while we were on tour with Dio last year. They were, they were uh, Vivian and Jimmy were putting it together then, and they said, when we get back to L.A., we're, you know, we're putting this thing together, would you like to do it? We said, yeah, sure, if we're not in the road or something. So, and it was, worked out well that at the same time they recorded, we, were, I think we had a month off or something. We just happened to be off the tour, just finished our tour. So it worked out really nice. Actually, we were just all like, sleeping, you know, and they called us up. Yeah, actually, they called Jordan and he got an hour. <laughs> Grab his guitar, came down. <laughs> you don't get down here in like half an hour, Ingbe's going to take your place. <laughs> he actually does play on the record. He plays very well, too, I think. Is he someone that you, that you like as a guitar player? Uh, Yingwe uh, Mao Stick? He's a great guitar player. Well, what was the atmosphere like when it was being recorded? Did everybody get on or were egos clashing? It was really busy. No, no, no ego that no. I can see. He did show up, but we threw him out. I see. Ego. Oh, ego, I see, yeah. I didn't understand that. But you would think they're putting... Fuck him in England. <laughs> you would think putting 40 heavy metal people in the one room, it yeah, could create a little bit of tension. No, no, we got... with Kevin. Yeah, we got Kevin DeBrow leading the choir. About that, it's no problem. Because yeah. Kevin isn't somebody I think a lot of people thought would have been invited to be involved, because he isn't a popular man in Los Everybody Angeles. Everybody kept their egos... Ah, oh, that kid with Kevin, that's just, that was just a bunch of press baloney. Really? That was a good guy, he's all right. Do all the bands in the scientists really get on very well then? It's just what the press have, have blown out of proportion. I think so. I, I see Kevin in public. I see him with Motley Crue and Rat and all the magazines he's supposed to fight him with. They all say hi, he's along his mind. I get along fine with Motley and Rat, you know, it's no problem. Yeah. I mean, in the beginning, I think when you start out in bars, it's a heavy competition. You know, and you all want to obviously be the big band. But when you all achieve some success, you know, you all kind of, you're all kind of like happy for each other, I think. I get along quite well with everybody. We all do. Yeah, everybody kids each other, you know, maybe have a criticism for another group. But it's, uh, sometimes it gets blown out of proportion. Yeah. Have you been disappointed that the record has taken a year to come out? Well, I'm not disappointed. I mean, I wonder if it was ever going to happen. Yeah. We did it so long. It took a lot, quite a while, but like like Ronnie said, it was kind of good because of all the stuff that happened last year. A year later, another record comes out and it shows everybody that the, the whole thing about helping people out is still alive. So, also, know. if it had come out a year ago, I may have got caught up in the whole live yeah, thing. Yeah. People's minds might that still was, be on yeah, that. Yeah, the idea was to separate it from, from that other stuff. It, so it I just seemed kind of redundant, you know, to come out with something. 
right, right on the tail end of the whole thing. It's just well, important that everybody understands it's not a bandwagon thing. There's nothing to gain from this for anybody, you know, except the only people that gain from it were the people in Africa. You know, we had nothing to gain from it. It's definitely a good cause and uh, well done for being involved. Thanks for talking.